how uh, comfortable it must be on the other side of the House to be in opposition, make all the promises they want to make and never have to address the question of where the money is going to be found. This morning on Radio New Zealand, we heard the uh, Leader of the Opposition stand up and complain about money that wasn't being put into the so-called Cullen Fund, ne obviously in fearing that a Labor government would put that money into that fund if they happen to have the privilege of being in government right now, but never explaining where they would find that money. They've taken slap after slap. Uh, and yet they never, ever have to cough up, and that is the privilege of being in opposition when they can stand there, they can pick whatever fights they want to take on, they can promise everything knowing they'll never have to deliver, and before they would ever have to deliver it, they'll remove it. We, heard, we saw them all on the bus, you know, singing Country Road, Take Me Home, etc., etc., longing for the, for the fatherland, uh, sliding around in that big red bus that said, Axe the tax, and funnily enough, tax seems to have gone off the agenda just at the moment, because in spite of all the promises about no GST on uh, fresh fruit and vegetables, Labor aren't saying what they would do with the 15 cents GST. They're not making any, any comment about it whatsoever. They're strangely silent right now. Labor knows that it has to keep its constituents disgruntled and disenchanted, that's code for poor and pissed off, so that they can ma maintain a constituency come the next election. And when we look at the smacks they had around the House today in question time, for instance, having a go at Paula Bennett, good old Paula Bennett, going, what, we, what we heard from the other side of the House was, there are no jobs, there are no jobs. In fact, they criticised the Minister for um, uh, Social Development in expecting people to make applications for jobs so they continue um, uh, receiving an unemployment benefit. Well, isn't that what a Minister of Social Development is supposed to do? Is it shallow just to stand back and say, there are no jobs, there are no jobs? Wouldn't you expect a person with their hand out in receipt of a benefit uh, from the taxpayers of New Zealand to at least be trying to look for work? Exactly. And then we had the uh, Leader of the Opposition stand up and complain to the Minister of Social Development because of a situation where 2,500 people who are unemployed wanted to apply for a job, as if that was some terrible thing. And, and what we know is this. National believes people should be trying to look for work, and so did those 2,500 people who are in that queue looking for work. They are actually on our side. They are actually supporting what we were saying, just as those people in Mana did a couple of weeks ago. When Phil Goff stood up and said that that by-election was going to be run on the government's performance, we agreed. We agreed. We put our record on the line, and what we know is that Labor got a caning. They got an absolute caning in mana because their 6,300 vote majority for their candidate at the last election went through the floor to 1,000. 1080 on the night and about 1,400 where it ended up. And, and Carmel Cipollone knows exactly that and she hates it. The fact is that the Prime Minister, John Key, at the moment is the most popular Prime Minister since Adam was a cowboy and they hate it. The public of New Zealand are repeating time and time and time again that they are happy with the performance of this government. Even in a pretty crappy week, they're prepared to cut us some slack. Given the, given the terrible times that this government has had to endure and defend and support the country of New Zealand with, the public of New Zealand is prepared to give us the benefit of the doubt and cut us some slack because what they know, better than anything else, is they don't want that lot back any time soon. Never. Right. Even though 